New monsters and early chapter 4 leaks all start with one of the secret monsters that have been unseen up until now. It turns out we were just given an update by the game developers towards the possibility of a bird monster popping up in the next chapter. We ended up being introduced to this bird monster earlier on through the Bunzo Bunny comic that featured a live bird egg, meaning there'd have to be a creature capable of creating this egg in the first place. And the company behind Poppy Playtime ended up teasing this monster further by specifically making a comment towards their plans for future games. They told us that it will be a Hoot, which connected perfectly into the idea that this mysterious bird character we were clued into earlier on could have potentially been an owl. Which is where our new update for this monster comes into play to reveal everything. We still need to know if this idea is meant to actually be confirmed for the next chapter, and we're finally given the truth from the CEO of the company, in charge of making the Poppy Playtime games, who gave us an interesting statement that tells us a lot more about the new monster if you pay close enough attention. Specifically, as Zach explains, we've always been attracted to movies, games, and media that are visually interesting with a deep backstory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was one of the main inspirations for us, but what would this even have to do with a new bird-themed monster for Poppy Playtime in the first place? Well, it turns out one of the main focus points from this movie, that Poppy Playtime takes strong inspiration from, is the fact that there's meant to be geese in a specific section of the factory, birds that lay eggs. And we even see a further reference to the whole Willy Wonka candy factory concept in the same earlier Bunzo Bunny comic as it involves an Easter egg hunt. The eggs were supposed to be filled with candy, as that's what you typically find on Easter, only for Bunzo to realize that something else was going on here. The hint that starts to confirm that this whole bird monster concept could be meant to reference the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Mob Entertainment even directly referenced this sort of bird already in their scrapped characters from Chapter 2, having not one, but two separate models with a strong connection to the bird we saw from Willy Wonka, the main inspiration for the game, that tells us it's already an idea that they've played around with in the past. And we were already told by the game developers that these same exact scrap designs are going to be important in terms of this next upcoming chapter. Some could be brought back. And it turns out Mob gave us a further confirmation that we still needed to know from a recent interview revealing the rest of this new monster situation. In terms of creating these new monster designs in the first place, it was said that the team in charge of it typically know exactly what they want to design early on after the concept phase. So having all of these mysterious easter eggs and references earlier on would be exactly what we needed to confirm that this same bird monster design idea would be something that they decided to hold onto and reuse for chapter 4, the next game. But we also know Bron sticks out as even more important towards this next game as we were given new evidence for him that was actually supposed to be a big secret behind the scenes. It turns out this hidden leak for his character specifically was found in some of the lost files for the game. Tetrabit actually uncovered his remains along with another huge easter egg that finally started to put the pieces together for us. You see, this original file ended up showcasing a more mashed up, smaller version of Braun that was most likely meant to tell us that the real Braun was meant to no longer be in the picture. We know because his smaller version ended up being thrown together with one other small model specifically. The Lost Files ended up revealing an equally mashed up Mommy Longlegs that actually started to tell us what was really going on here with these specific files. You see, this smaller Mommy Longlegs model was taken apart in such a way that actually perfectly replicated what actually happened to her at the very end of Chapter 2. No legs, one arm, and a torso. Aside from the head, of course, as Catnap has a thing for randomly taking off the heads. But the fact that the game developers chose to specifically leave this secret in originally told us that they were potentially trying to tell us how both Mommy Longlegs and Bron met their ends once and for all. But of course, this was before changing their minds and instead making sure these files weren't found in the same place together after all they got rid of them. And we also ended up being told more definitively by one of the higher ups over at Mob Entertainment that Bran the Dinosaur was actually his favorite character of all, but also that he wasn't allowed to tell us why that was. 
While we don't have a ton of information towards Bronn following these first three chapters, this new clue could very well go hand in hand with revealing that there's actually more we should be expecting from Bronn in the future, after all, why he's the favorite. But moving on to the most important monsters of all, it turns out we were given an update towards the new unseen smiling critters too. Specifically, that some of them from the original group now had a strong connection into chapter 4. But how do we know? Well, it turns out following these in-game statements from both Ali and Dog Day, telling us that there were no more smiling critters left in the play care at all, we were given a sort of update that started to change things. For starters, the CEO of the company told us that he's been setting up the Poppy Playtime games in a way that reveals huge twists in the story that we aren't supposed to be expecting. And more specifically, these big twists are said to be involving the characters. If we're told beforehand that all of the smiling critters are supposed to be no more, then it would obviously be setting up a huge twist in chapter 4 that would change everything. And it turns out this wouldn't even be the first time where a character is set up like this to be gone, only to have more than enough evidence for their unexpected return. We know for example that Poppy also told us Huggy Wuggy was meant to be fully out of the picture, despite the fact that she was literally in a box the whole time when he fell, only for us to later find a ton of easter eggs and secrets from the game files that told us there's actually a strong possibility of him being alive after all. So we can't really take what we're told here about the rest of the Smiling Critters as fact. But if they were truly alive, then which specific members of the Smiling Critters would we be looking out for in Chapter 4? Well, we're given a pretty decent idea from the physical cardboard cutouts for the characters that start to piece together the actual fate of every single one of the critters. We know that the cutouts tell us that Picky Piggy ended up eating some of them, including Cake and Chicken, Bubba Bubba Finn, and Crafty Corn but also that this would mean some of the other critters for the group are still left unaccounted for. Piggy Piggy herself, for starters, shows no actual signs of being attacked by any of the other characters, as she doesn't scream at the very end of her voice line sequence like some of the others do. She's still in the picture. And we're given even stronger evidence towards Bobby Bearhug, also being alive for this upcoming chapter, as on top of the fact that we also don't hear a scream at the end of her voice lines, we know that she also reveals to us that she's most likely lost somewhere in the factory. The clue that we get from the line, I'm lost without you, as we know there's a bit of truth sprinkled into the actual voice lines themselves. But the fact she's lost in the first place could actually match up with the fact that neither Dog Day or Ollie knows that she's alive at all. Why they just assume that the rest of the critters are no more, purely based on the fact that they can no longer find them. And connecting this to the idea that we're still expecting a huge twist for the game, tells us that the return of some of these critters bigger body versions is actually pretty likely. But it turns out Mob also decided to tease the rest of the monsters for chapter 4 that were a mystery up until this point. New monsters that were teased by some of the messages from the game developers behind the scenes that for starters told us to be looking out for some new character models that had already been complete early for chapter 4. They had already been fully designed around 6 months ago. But who are these new monsters supposed to be? Well, the answers started coming together for us after finding secret files that some of the game developers left behind meant to tease some of these concepts that players weren't supposed to be able to see. But it turns out I'm able to find all these files along with the actual new monsters and put it all together for you early in this video right here. So for everything revealed about chapter 4 before its release, make sure to check it out.